hidden behind the glorious sands of Margate lies a typical British allotment. Soil, sheds and rows of veg, it's got it all. Here, local residents spend their days growing fresh fruit and veg. It's a place of tranquility, a place to grow their own, a place to relax and get away from the troubles of life. To them, it's a home from home. Meet Jamie, a former chef who now spends his days on the allotment growing fresh fruit and veg. Growing vegetables for me is, is so enjoyable. The enjoyment is so much there. As long as I've got dirty hands when I go home, I know I've done something. If I go home with clean hands, it doesn't feel like I've done anything. So to be able to have dirty hands and to work with the ground and to work with nature is fantastic. By putting a seed in the ground, how does a seed know to turn into to, to a child plant? It's amazing, you know, and to be able to see that happening over the period of a year is just amazing. This is working with nature. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm sweating, I tell you. It's so hot in here. Jamie is not the only one who likes to get away from the world and spend some time growing on the allotment. Down on the bottom plot, Martina, the site's communications coordinator, is getting ready for a good day's gardening. Working outside is the best part, and I think that, that kind of comes hand in hand with being in allotment, and um, you kind of appreciate your own garden, your own space, I think, as well, with sort of seeing how people appreciate space like this. I get to be outdoors, and I get to work with nature, I get to work with people who enjoy nature and who enjoy sort of eating organic and fresh produce, working with people as well who sort of have an understanding for it. I think that's, that's the, the, the best part of it. Unfortunately, growing your own fresh fruit and veg is not as easy as it sounds, because for the 100,000 people a year on a waiting list for a plot, the closest they get to an allotment is the small patch of dirt in their back garden. With the rediscovered interest in homegrown food becoming more apparent than ever, people are beginning to realise that there isn't enough space for all that growing. The question on everyone's lips is how can I get access to homegrown fruit and veg if I can't grow it myself? Well, here on the allotments in Margate, they have an answer. The Veg Box Scheme. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, and the scheme's only grower Jamie is on site, picking the veg for this week's Veg Box. I'm trying to prepare um, all the salad for our restaurant bags this morning. So lettuce, I've got just over six and a half kilos of lettuce to pick. The reason we pick it at this time in the morning is if we leave it till later on in the day, by the time I pick it all, it'll all wilt. So we pick it as first thing in the morning, as fresh as we can. Uh, it get packed and it's in a cool place and then it will go out on the van later. So yeah, it's quick, quick work basically. <laughs> Everything is picked either the day before or on the day that the veg bags go out to the drop-off points. So it's completely straight from the ground and I don't think you can get any fresher than that. We have 75 veg box customers on a weekly basis. We try and put seasonal vegetables all through the year, different ones in, so they get something different. We want to try and keep the customers and inspire them to, to try new things that they may not have tried before. Jamie isn't alone in his endeavour to feed the masses of Margate. He and his strong team of volunteers spend their mornings getting the bags ready for all of their loyal and hungry customers. Up here it's about working together as a team, bringing people together. And it is, we are a family unit up here, or we try and make it a family unit up here. The last thing I say to all my volunteers is thank you. Thank you for coming in, thank you for being part of the team, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. It's really good to work with the public, if you like, because you don't know what you're going to get. You just see the, the temperament relax and they get into the job, the weather's lovely, um, you've got the noise of the birds. You know, it's perfect. It's a perfect environment to, to relax in. 
Not only does the project have a positive impact on the local community, it also has a positive impact on the local wildlife. Jamie has taken some time out of picking to tend to his bees. By having bees on site, obviously we get the honey, but the bees get to pollinate all the flowers, the vegetables. Without bees, we wouldn't have the food that we have because half or more than half of the food we eat is pollinated by so many different types of bees um, and without them, we'll have no food. So it's really beneficial to have bees. We've got a pond behind the fence and just here and our bees will drink the water. So it's beneficial all round. We get also a lot of insects up here as well. We get our ladybirds, we get um, caterpillars, we get uh, black fly, which obviously the, the ladybirds will eat. Then you get the moths in the summer. So, I mean, you get lots and lots of different types of uh, insects and animals up here. Birds, a lot of birds, a lot of birds. But then you can hear that, which is great. With many customers comes many bags. Once all the veg has been picked, Jamie and his volunteers begin the painstaking process of preparing the bags for their owners. And with pickup time only a few hours away, Sue, the backpacker, has got a lot of work to do. Thursday is always a busy day because there's certain things that you can't pack till the last minute. Mm. For example, the salad, that's been freshly harvested. As soon as that's ready, then I can go out and start packing that because I've um, got quite a few salad bags to do today. It's nice to think that um, the bags have got a bag of salad in and fresh tomatoes and cucumbers out of the polytunnel that can end up on somebody's plate that evening. Nice. It's almost lunchtime and the bags are packed. The van has arrived and it's time to start loading them up, ready for them to be delivered to all of the hungry customers. Within a matter of minutes, the many bags that Jamie and his team have spent all morning making have all gone. And now the process begins all over again, ready for next week's bags. But not before a well-deserved break. My day's been great overall. Um, team has worked really well. Um, all the veg has been packed. And um, it's been a great day's work, to be honest. How are we going to prepare for next week's bag? Next week's bag. Hope it all grows is the, is the answer to that um, and then go for exactly the same process as we've done this week. Since World War II, the number of allotments in the UK has reduced by more than one million plots and Jamie thinks he knows why. Farmers are losing their farmland because they want to build new houses and the problem is if you're losing the farmland, where does the food come from? So the food's imported. So if it's imported, we're losing our vegetable ground um, and the, it's, it's an ongoing thing. I think also it's very important to be able to have a piece of land, but then if you don't have a piece of land, you can grow on window sills, balconies, a lot, um, patios. You don't need necessarily an area of garden to grow things in. So I think it's really important that we're given a chance or be able to give them a space that we can grow something in. And I think that should happen regardless for the next 20, 30, 40 years to come, in my opinion. Britain, there is no need to worry. There is a solution. I mean, you could grow different bits and pieces just in pots at home. You know, if you've got a balcony, you can grow stuff. It can be done anywhere. It doesn't have to be done on a space like this. Anybody can have a small garden at home. Go out into your garden, dig up some soil and plant some seeds. Because today is the day that we bring the Dig for Victory campaign back to the UK. Think about the possibilities. We will always need food. Come together and join our pledge for veg. We are a nation of fruit and veg lovers. Let's keep it that way.